Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Shazam! And... Not the Shaq movie. <laughs> but no, this is DCU's newest film, and starring Zachary Levi as a young boy who becomes a superhero because he's the chosen one to fight an evil dude with the seven deadly sins on his side and stuff like that. And this is directed by David F. Sandberg, who honestly, I'm a really big fan of his work because he was involved in Annabelle Creation and Lights Out. He directed those films and I have a lot of respect for him as a horror director and I thought this was an interesting take. I can see where he shines in here and that's one of the big things I want to talk about first is tonal issues. There are some scenes in this film that are really intense and pretty scary and surprise, like shockingly violent and I'm just like, oh my. This is a PG-13 movie, and this does not fit in with the rest of the film, because then it's zany and silly and goofy with... And not as zany and silly and goofy as you probably would expect this film to be. There's some moments where it's like, there is a lot of weight in this, and emotionally it does work on quite a few levels. And there's particular things in terms of thematic threads, like family and really finding your family, that I thought really worked in this film. And honestly, from a directing standpoint, the pacing was good, except the scenes were really, it's honestly one of the weakest parts about this is the villain. And Mark Strong is intimidating, but like, he doesn't really bring anything special to this role. And when they're on screen, it's usually when it's the creepier and unnerving parts, but it's like a lot of the times in this film, there's parts that just go on too long. Especially the third act, which the third act was a lot of fun and I love some of the things they did in it and will never spoil. Go enjoy it. But this film didn't need to be like two hours and 15 minutes. This could have been way condensed. And that's one of the things that I have problems with as well. But the thing is, before I start just sounding like I hate this movie, so much fun. I laughed a lot watching this film, and Zachary Levi really sells that because he looks like he's having a blast, and Shazam's hilarious, he's a great character, and other foster kids in his in Billy Babbitt's little family are so hilarious, so great, and so cute. There's one little girl in it who, um, Darla, is just so adorable. And then, uh, Jack Dylan Grazer, who plays Freddy, the, <laughs> how are you saying, you're so dark, it's like, but I'm a foster kid, a disabled foster kid, I have everything. That kid, he's hilarious in this, and he has some great lines, he has great chemistry with Zachary Levi, and there's a lot of gags, them testing him being a superhero, those parts are absolutely hilarious. And those are really the things that make this film work. And there's emotional moments that do work. When it gets too bogged down in, like, the, like, world building of magic and the DCU and these, like, darker things with the villain, it kind of just loses you a little bit. And this movie, if you thought Aquaman went to crazy weird places, this movie goes to crazy weird places. And... There's some ideas that I really appreciated, but they didn't feel like they meshed completely well with the film. But the thing is, I have to say, I had a ball watching this film for the most part. There are some moments where some of the dialogue is atrocious and some of the scenes are a bit clunky. But otherwise, it's funny, it's fun, there's some cool action beats. It, it has some fun with some traditional comic book e kind of moments that do really work well. Overall, I think this is a fun time. It's definitely not the best DCU film. I still feel like Wonder Woman and Man of Steel are better films than this. And But, like, this... They're on the right track with this and Aquaman. I think they're making strides with it. And I enjoyed it. And I would look forward to watching another Shazam film. Hopefully the villain's a little more fleshed out and interesting. But I enjoyed it. David F. Sandberg did a good job directing this film. And I'd like to see him come back. But... Let me know what you think, and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.